All right, so here is a quick rundown of the microscope parts and how to use the microscope. We are just going to start at the top. This is the eyepiece. Eyepiece has an eyepiece tube that is going to connect all the way down to the head. This is where you're going to look into to see whatever your slide has on the bottom. As you move down past the head, you go to the objectives. The objectives are what you actually use to change the magnification. So you have the shorter ones, which are less magnification, and then as they get longer and longer, it's more magnification. You can actually see the magnification on the side of the objectives. So once you have the objective clicked in, you should be able to have it focus in. The frame, this is the frame. This is the frame that connects the head all the way down to the base and then goes down to the knob. So this is usually when you're carrying it, this is what you're gonna hold it by. One hand on here, one here and down here. The actual slide, so here's an example of an actual slide. This is gonna go on this black plate called the stage. There is a little metal arm right here that will hold it in place. You will place it into there and it will slide right into this little spot. You notice how it has a little corner that it'll fit into. So now it is snug. So when now when you move the actual stage, the slide will move with it. If the slide is not moving with the stage, then it's not going to make a lot of sense. So make sure it is snugly attached here in the stage. Moving down a little bit, you have several knobs. This is the course adjustment knob. This is going to largely just move this up and down. This is the first thing that you're going to use. You're basically going to use this to get the initial adjustment, followed by the fine adjustment knob on the outside that looks almost like a, um, like a locker combination, like a padlock. Some of them will have a large and a small, but it is all the same stuff. To move laterally, like horizontal and vertical directions, you're gonna use this right here, okay? This is gonna actually change the side-by-side, -side or side-to-side -side movement of the slide. Base is right here. There's a thing called a diaphragm, which is what allows light to come up into the slide. And then down here, you have your actual light. Right now, we're gonna turn this screen on so it's easy. This is what you would see if you were looking in the eyepiece, okay? You don't see anything. You have to make sure that it is either plugged in or with batteries and that the switch is flipped to on. This is going to turn the light on, which then turns on what you see on your slide. Okay. So here's how we are going to adjust it because once you start adjusting it, it's very easy for it to get blurry again. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use our lateral adjustment knobs to kind of get basically the center of the slide right in there in the light. That looks good enough. Basically we can see, we can kind of see the little dot. That's what we're trying to see, that little bitty dot in the middle of the slide. Put it on the lowest objective. It's very easy to hook to the uh, focus to the lowest objective first rather than trying to find it on a very high objective. You still see nothing. So I'm going to move the course adjustment knob, which is the big one, until I can get something to come into focus. We're going to move this. And we can see little black specks start to kind of come into focus. So now we're now we're now we know we're basically zoomed in enough and we're focused enough to where if I move this side to side, I start to see stuff coming to focus. Now we're looking for a buttercup root, so we know it's going to be in here somewhere. So now we know we're focused in because as we do this, you can see stuff. If it's still a little fuzzy, I'm now going to take my hand from the course adjustment to the fine adjustment knob and we move that until this becomes very crisp. So you can move it so much that it becomes fuzzy again. You don't wanna do that. You're gonna move it so that it is very crisp and we can see what's actually on the slide. So for our buttercup root, let's see if we can find this thing. Oh, there we go. We found what we're looking for. Here's our root slice. Course adjustment knob, we can move this until it becomes about as clear as possible. 
Remember, course adjustment knob is a big one. That's pretty clear. Then I'm gonna use the fine adjustment to make it as crisp as I possibly can. That's pretty good. So that is on the lowest objective. So now we have found the thing on the lowest objective. If we're, mo if we're moving to a higher objective, so for example, I'm gonna go to the next one. See how it has four on that? It has 10 on this. I'm going to move and it'll kind of click in the place. Make sure this is on again. You're gonna have to readjust. We're still good, we're, we're still centered. I still need to adjust this. So I'm gonna move the course adjustment until it becomes clear or clear-ish. Oh, there we go, that was good. Go back a little bit. And then move the fine adjustment knob until it becomes as crisp as I think I can possibly get it, which it's actually pretty good right there. So now we can see individual cells. We're zooming in, getting more magnification. And you would basically do this and repeat if you wanna to go to even higher magnifications. This one has four. Some microscopes will only have three objectives, but every time you go up, you wanna start at the lowest one, center it so that when you zoom in even more, you can actually see what's going on and you don't have to find whatever you were looking at again. You want it to be as dead center as possible so when you zoom in, you can still see the actual slide. That's pretty much it. So make sure that you know the parts and that when you come in, we could give you a completely blurry slide at with like not even on the microscope, no objective set up, nothing set up, and you could find the thing on the slide pretty easily. That is it.